This is a mountain bike. Now this is a, it's an electric mountain bike. Let's take it out for a ride. Yo, what is up people? How are you guys doing? In this video, we are checking out the B Adventure from Be Cool E-Bikes. It looks like an electric mountain bike. Let's check it out. So here we go. The B Adventure from Be Cool Bikes. It looks just like a mountain bike. It's full suspension. Got suspension right here. 120 millimeter fork. 26 by 4.0 tires. 750 watt motor with a peak of 1100 watts that's kind of good the battery is a 48 volt 21 amp and uh it's 1008 watt hour so that's kind of beefy right there that's a pretty huge battery for 1500 dollars and it even came with hydraulic disc brakes it's not branded but you know it's hydraulic the only thing here is the rotors are only 160 millimeters so i'm kind of expecting like at least 180 but you know it's hydraulic so that's it's probably good enough we're gonna test it out later we got a rack right here it is rated up to 60 pounds i wish i can actually remove this without compromising this taillight right here because if i remove this rack remove the fender and stuff it's gonna look more like a legit you know electric mountain bike but if i remove this rack now i have to actually fish this line and this wire is connected straight to this controller so i'm probably just gonna keep that there there's even a turn signal indicator for this taillight right here it's not too visible so i'm not really gonna show you guys that and uh it is paired with this headlight it's not too bright you know again as always i always say that you can always buy a bike light because e-bikes in this price range you're, you're not gonna have a really bright LED light all right I changed my mind let me show you guys the turn signal indicator so that's what I was saying it's not too bright and the headlight is uh that's about it I mean it's good enough you know again you can always buy a bike light for your e-bike if you're riding at night the cockpit is very simple I really like the screen because it's huge and it's very visible there's even uh, on and off button for the throttle so right now it's on squeeze the throttle the bike's gonna go turn it off for safety feature it's not gonna go and there's a horn i actually like this thing because it's not too loud it's not gonna annoy you if you use it we got a shifter right here mickey mouse looking shifter the controls are right here so you know typical e-bike stuff if you press up and down you do your pedal assist and you hold the m button it's gonna turn it off you know vice versa hold the m button turn it on hold the uh the, the arrow up it's gonna turn on the light there you go right there turn off the light boom i noticed that the handlebar is too narrow and this tam is too long it would have been better if they actually installed at least a 760 millimeter handlebar here and the seat the seat is very nice it's a gel seat it's large i like it okay so this is how you remove the battery when I say it has a big battery, I'm talking about it has a big battery right here. Check this out. You can even charge your phone or whatever you want to charge. There's a USB port right here. Come on. All right, there's a USB port, but I'm having a hard time <laughs> removing this thing. We'll leave it alone. All right, we'll leave that thing alone. To install it, just like that. There's a battery level indicator right here, so if you press this button, you know how much battery juice you got left and uh, this is where you charge the bike okay so I was messing with the computer last night right here and uh, I kind of messed it up and now I can't see how fast I'm going but uh, the other day I actually tested out and this bike's maximum speed is 27 miles per hour when it came out of the box it only has five levels of pedal assist but again I was messing up I was messing with this yesterday and uh, right now I got nine pedal assist level and the brake rotor in the rear is just so loud. I don't have a multi-tool on me right now to fix it, but uh, yeah, that's gonna be screaming the entire ride. But so far, this is the most comfortable electric bike that I ever used. This is a perfect combo right here. Fat tires, full suspension. So whoever installed the caliper did not align it properly. That's why the rotor is actually rubbing in the pads even if it's not engaged and the rotor's actually heating up right now because it's been rubbing but again i don't have my tools so 
yeah we'll fix it when we get back home and the ride is unbelievably smooth i'm talking about it rides super smooth it feels like there's so much travel on the suspension you know again fat tires actually help you know a lot with the comfiness of this bike and again if i install a wider handlebar on this bike the ride quality will be really good will be better oh man this is nice and the brakes working so good oh my gosh what brakes are these it's not branded but it works really good all right that should be real good super low pressure full suspension perfect all right this is a little chunk here i remove a little bit of air on the tires now it's running super smooth dang the handling is really good too i don't really go fast here but oh man this uh nice very nice handling you don't feel like it's a heavy bike when you're turning it and the brakes i'm talking about the brakes is really good man i like it that's probably why they named this bike the be cool bikes because this is pretty cool So I noticed that the suspension is kind of easy to bottom out. You guys hear the, the thud? Hold on. Normally on a full suspension e-bike, you're gonna have a hard time actually doing that, like bottoming out the, the suspension by just doing that. But you hear that? And this bike, the fork is actually really soft. And I actually try to adjust it, but this 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 thing right here does nothing. The rear is very stiff. The front, super soft. That's why I remove a little bit more air off my tires to compensate with the bump, so. And I only weigh 145 pounds, so if you're heavier than me, most likely the fork is gonna bottom out pretty easy on you. But you know, if you just ride on the road, you'll be fine. If you hit off roads, you're gonna have to be really careful on what you're hitting. All right, now hit some roots. Oh yeah. I can't stop saying that the ride is really smooth on this thing because it is just really smooth. I just hit some roots there. It's like nothing. Oh man. All right, it's time to head back home because this rotor is just getting on my nerves now. It's just too loud and it's too annoying. I guess I'll see you guys in the house. Dang, the rotor is hot. <laughs> it's cooked. Probably the pads too. Caliper's okay, but this thing is hot. <laughs> All right, let's fix that annoying noise. So, oh, that's kind of loose. Let's undo this caliper. All right, now I'm gonna have to hold this brake. All right, I'm gonna use this strap right here because I'm showing you guys what I'm doing while I'm trying to fix the brake. So basically the lever needs to be squeezed. That way the caliper will pinch the uh the rotor all right now the lever is engaged now we just need to tighten up these bolts so basically the caliper is squeezing the rotor in its center position so hopefully the noise goes away hopefully it works 100 percent of the time <laughs> All right, let's test it out. Okay, it's quiet now. Let's actually ride it. That way we know that it's actually good to go. All right, so the noise is gone. I wish I had my tool earlier. It would have been better, but uh, yeah, easy fix. Not a major issue. Just need to align that rotor and it's good to go. I probably need to align the front rotor too because I can hear some, some scrubbing, but it's not making noise. It's just, I can hear that it's rubbing a little bit. So far, so good though. So for $1,600, I think this is a really good full suspension 
electric bike. I actually consider this as an electric mountain bike, but the fork is not enough. But overall, this is a really good e-bike. For $1,600, you got a really nice hydraulic disc brakes, big battery, 750 watt motor. It's full suspension, it's super comfortable, and it handles really good. So what can I say? Yeah, we got some issues about the hydraulic brakes, but as you guys saw, it's an, it's an easy fix, so it's not a major deal, you know? If I'm replacing something here, I am definitely gonna be upgrading the fork, and I will be installing a wider handlebar. So this is gonna be close to perfect for $1,600. Good fork, wider handlebars, it will be really good. All right, what else can I say? If you guys wanna check the Be Cool, Be Adventure, I will link this thing down in the description below, that way you guys can check it out. And um, yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, keep pedaling, ride safe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.